Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a box. So this morning was um, the first day of Posh Fest. Lots of issues. Let's just say that. Um, the couple breakout sessions I did get to, I got two pieces of useful information. Um, so at least there was something. I'm hangry because I still haven't eaten yet. Um, it we actually ended up being right in the middle of the creation of a tropical storm last night and today. So my new posh room is flooded again because apparently we didn't get the seal right. So still got to work that out. Um, so I got to go down there, dry up that get it relisted um but i did get my latest items from shop goodwill i don't have them on my reading glasses so um, whatever um i can see it okay enough okay so basically we have four seven eight nine ten items for 83 dollars so right about the same price as um the last box so they're coming out right about ten dollars each most of the items should be able to get 30 or more for some of them a lot more so that's good all right so and i got a lot new a tag so this is cache i think maybe is this cache no there is a cache this is really cute this is a bardo like Bridget Bardot. Um, it is a Junior's brand. It is new with tags. Um, the price was something $99.99, but part of it's been taken off, so it's probably like, oh. Hmm. So this is a Junior's brand, but it's actually looking like a little girl's dress. Kind of, but it's very heavy. I don't know. That's going to be a pretty short dress. So, it's really pretty. It's like a velvet over satin, pink satin. Super cute. But it is not a very big at all. So, we'll have to figure out what's going to happen with that. That is gorgeous. Alright. Um, next is... This is correct, um, and I did look up pumps for this, were actually pretty good. Um, and we got black patent leather with kind of like this um, lace detail and little blinged out walk on it, looking fine. It's got like the imprint, the patent leather stuff on the back, it's like um, crocodile look. Big old heavy crut tag. Inside's really cute. And it's looking really, really clean. Um, unfortunately, it's tacked down. Oh, and it's got like a little mirror. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, so it does have the inner lining tacked down, which can be kind of a pain, especially when you're trying to clean them. But yeah, this is nice pretty solid you can adjust the width here so that's pretty cool it's a very nice little patent leather bag and then i love the extra lace detailing on that oh, oh this is soft this is my tagnella I, I'm kind of addicted to Tagnoa now. I used to just be Coach, but now Tagnoa. I really, her leather is so soft. And it's nice colors. Check out this, like, it's pinky. And, oh, look how cute. It's got, like, little pouch pockets in front. That's too cute. And they are actually separate. 
It's really cute. I love their hardware. It's always like very substantial. Got a pocket in the back. Got the magnet holder. Really nice clean lining. Sounds like there's some. Uh, that's just the. I was thinking we got some money in there. Nice clean lining. Super soft. Kind of a pinky red. It does sound like there's some money in there. Please don't tell me this is going to be another one of these purses with money in the money in the lining and I can't figure out how to get it out. But I might be. See, the other one that did that, there literally is no holes. Maybe. There's the money. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go insane later without trying to find the money. Oh, there it is. It wasn't in the lining. It's in the purse. I just felt it. Jeez. You like in a pocket or something? Yeah, it's in this pocket. Alright, so finding money. That's always good. Alright, a pair of jeans. I think I got True Religion and Lucky. Not positive. Okay, so this is True Religion. They're very small. These are size 25. I got the little boot cut on them. Um, dang it. These have then, huh. I'm not sure. It looks like these have been hemmed, but they should be easy <coughs> to take that out. That's sitting out. So you can get those back to a regular length. Coach. These are so cute. I'm like so excited I got these. I was like worried somebody was going to come in at the last minute and snake them for me. Because these are so fucking cute. They're coach with a little black and white and metal coach front. You got the wood lacquered heel. Oh, they are so pretty. And as you see, not even a horn. I got nothing on there. I don't know. Actually, this one does look. Huh, that's kind of crazy. Because this looks a little worn, but I mean, unless they're walking on water, I'm not sure how that happened. Kind of crazy. Okay, so this, I have never heard of this brand before, but the comps were pretty good on it. And it is. All leather. It smells like old lady. And I'm an old lady. So this is definitely vintage. It's got the old school grandma mirror in there. Get that in there. And this is a I forgot the name of it. It's like oh something. I'm trying to see what the There's actually a, like a leather maker logo on there. And it is Oglo something. I'll have to look that up. So, yeah. Um, the trim doesn't seem to be real leather. So it's kind of bringing it down a little tacky. But we'll see. It is vintage, so that might help that. Um, Alright. Then we have Armani. And I think this is Collection. Armani Collection. Yes, a Collection. So this is the higher end of Armani. Really nice little dress pants. And they are size. 
and people aren't there to this right now. Manipulation pants. Um, looks like 48R. I don't think those are the same ones. Are they? Oh, 48. Yeah, in women's. I'm not sure if that would be US. Maybe like. Old or something. Oh, this is the gorgeous. Okay, so this should be the cachet women's black dress. And it looks like it is. Yes, this is cachet. And it is a one shoulder beauty. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottom. Lay. So you got lace to ribbon to sheer gorgeous dress and this is a size 4 okay these are super cool and I'm really hoping they're looking as cool in person as they did yes okay so these are new Dolce Vita not DV these are real Dolce Vita's and they are, yeah. So they are, they've got like, these are just so cool. It's like lace up, plus a zipper, plus a zipper on this side. So, like, the whole part comes undone. You got like terry cloths on the inside to keep them really nice. These babies are perfect not a spot on them I am so excited and I love the ribbon for the laces the ribbon pieces the other one gorgeous little white on super cute so these yeah. okay and last item So I had another like just special top yesterday. So they don't have skirts, but you know this and the other one could stuff. So this is a Stephen Chu beaded beaded sweater factory. Um, it is a hundred percent lamb's wool made in Hong Kong, size two. I think that says two. No, it's a small. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. And you got the little, it's like a silver blue almost, silvery blue black. The same as to buy for vintage gorgeousness. And then here is your label, Stephen Chu. Oh, I died. So I am so excited that of this week's purchases that came in should be quick to go out. I have a bunch of stuff getting ready to photograph this weekend. Um, had a couple sale, had a couple days without sales, which spunk, and I was listing like a crazy woman. I am 25 away from the goal I set for myself to reach by October 16th, so hey, that's even better. So, looking like I'm definitely gonna have to make myself another, um, I think what I'm going to do though, instead of um, adding another big listing um, thing, I'm going to get like enough so I can have like two or three listings every day. So I keep list having listings going in at least, um, but focus on starting to clean these shoes and bags that I need to get listed so that I can spend basically the rest of this month I really want to hammer hard on getting all my shoes and my bags listed 
because that's a lot of money just sitting there waiting to be sold so thank you guys for stopping by maybe i'll see you guys tomorrow in the posh fest but i definitely have a lot of work to do here and especially with the storm so thank you everyone send thoughts and prayers out to our good girls and guys out on the east or west coast with the fires and give us some love down here for the flooding so and everybody in between all of our people still in um the upper gulf region that got nailed by all the hurricanes their prayers loves and everything going out to everybody